Hi friends, this is Pastor Daniel Govaya. Wanted to give you a little update on my health. Many of you know that I had surgery on August 17. It was supposed to be a small procedure to remove what appeared to be a little cyst or a mass, but turns out that I had a femoral hernia. It was actually incarcerated, had a fairly dilated ring, and it was quite an invasive procedure. So the recovery process takes a few weeks. I am grateful though that it was discovered and that for six years, even though I have a very active lifestyle and I hike big mountains and I run five miles at a time and I jump a lot, but God protected me and the hernia never got strangulated. So I am alive today by the great mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm feeling a little bit better every day. The first few days were more challenging. Right now I'm able to walk a little bit more and do more things, but I still need to spend most of my time laying down, or sitting in a relaxed and comfortable position. I still have some swelling and some pain. And ever since I had the surgery, I was not able to sleep very well. The first night, I could not sleep one minute. And afterwards, I started sleeping like two or three hours a night. But I can't really sleep more than that. So I have to take a few naps during the day. I normally resist doing that. But now I have to. My wife, Suleanne, has been amazing supporting me, my son, Lucas, as well. And so many of you have been reaching out to me with phone calls, texts. You brought me food that I love. Some have sent gifts and cards. I could not be more thankful to God for His great love that is shown through family and friends and brothers and sisters in the faith. Thank you so much. I have an amazing support in my family doctor. He is a member of our congregation and a wonderful, loving man. He's always there for me. The surgeon that he referred me to is also one of the best. I consider myself greatly blessed and I am very thankful to God. I'm hoping that in the next few days I will continue recovering and that in the next few weeks I will be able to get back to my pastoral duties. I have learned many lessons and I am still learning many lessons through this experience. And one of them is the fact that I had to be put to sleep so I would not interfere with the process of the surgeon operating in my body. This speaks to me about absolute trust and rest. And that is the attitude we have to have for the one that is the doctor of our soul, Jesus. We need to trust Him fully. He has promised to give us a new heart, to put His Spirit, a new spirit, within us. Let us trust Him fully today and not interfere with what He wants to do in our characters and in our lives. Because this divine surgeon actually had to bleed and suffer much more than we will ever have to. And He did it for us. So let us trust that our Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, who was put to sleep for our sins upon the cross of Calvary, and who trusted fully in His Father, will give us the courage and power to go through whatever we need to go through here on earth, and He knows best what He is doing in the life of each and every one of us. God bless you, and see you soon.